Hi, welcome to the Digimaster channel for all your Digimon content. For every set I create a 6 decks, uh, one in each color, because I like to play their various styles and various types of decks. I want to get to know the meta and test against most of the decks and I like to play most of the decks. Of course I have my favorites, but uh, I just want to have them all to be able to how to play them and play against them. So we have been testing the BT6 format for a while and I would like to present you my 6 decks for Double Diamond. I'll be presenting a Rogue deck for BT6 and I really like this deck a lot. The previous yellow decks weren't uh, yeah, kind of my cup of tea because they were too aggressive and for me since the beginning yellow felt a very defensive color using recovery options and preventing security attacks. So that's what I tried to build with this set. Um, I used the new Babamon of BT6 and a lot of rookies to, uh, to accomplish that. The idea is to reduce the amount of security attacks your opponents have and to discourage them to swing instead in your Digimon by having very good unleashing effects of Babamon and Kentarismon for example. I really like this deck. I think it has some very good matchups. Um, for example, against the Gabumon Bond of Friendship deck, because they don't have security attacks, so even if they swing three, four times, it doesn't matter. And also a few bad ones in yeah, Jasmine's maybe a hard one. I'll be sure to give it a try. Maybe adopt it, so yeah, uh, can be a good deck in this format. So let's start with the babies, as always. First the uh, best yellow one for this kind of deck. It's not an aggressive deck, not able to remove your opponent's things. So simply the Upamon to draw extra cards. And for the same effect, the Bibamon to draw, to give you extra memory when you're on low security. Both good cards. Um, yeah, the Bibamon are two, just to test it out. Probably the Upamon goes to four again. Then we have a lot of rookies because it's yellow and you'll be playing a lot of rookies for free. So you want a lot of them. First we have four Pulsemon. Yeah, just too good for the two effects. And at the beginning if you want to draw some cards and just play it when you're to security, you can play it and gain the memory. And at the end, um, yeah, if the Babamon dies, and just play two of them, gain two memory, and sometimes it's your opponent's turn. Or just gain extra memory for your turn. So yeah, just man, very good for this deck. And more and more people are getting access to it because they are giving it for almost every event. So that's uh, very good news that more people are getting access to it. Then we have four of the new Tinkermon, which is a, yeah, a very nice card. Um, perfectly fits into the idea of this deck to give your opponents minus security attacks on the lesion you just play it swing with it or yeah let your opponent kill it and you can give something a minus security attack to the end of your opponent next turn so um, if you swing with it and doesn't die and your opponent kills it in their turn the effect still works until the end of your opponent's next turn so yeah you didn't give a Digimon didn't attack yet. And security attack for two turns, which is very good, of course. Differs your opponent into attacking it. And yeah. And we have four Renamon. Um, yeah, especially good in this deck. Just play it, give something minus security attack. The end game you can play it when Babamon dies. Give two of your digi opponents Digimon minus security attack one or stack it into one. And yeah, just good for this deck. It's yellow, of course we play the Bush Agamon, the rusher, just uh, finish the game. You can play, uh, if you're lucky, you can play all three in one turn. If you have a Babamon with the Angel Woman in the lead, and you can really take a game away. Then of course we have the so the level 3 Lucimon. Yeah, 
just a recovery you can play it for free so why not and as you can see um, most of them have different play costs which is not a coincidence but done to uh, prevent the black with the ultimate flare or the new things that can uh, delete everything with the lowest play cost or a high play cost do not remove your whole field so yeah it's also very nice then we have the champion when you say uh, Tinkemon, you say Petermon. Just when you play it, you can play a Tinkemon. They tend to die a lot. It gets them back. So yeah, just perfect. Then we have blockers. Because if your opponent has a security attack left or it can't and you want to swing to your Digimon, you want to prevent that from happening. So we have three Petermon and two Unimon. Just to have a different TP in blockers. So 5k gets deleted a lot, 6k tends to survive. And then we have another card we just want to test. It's a Mimic Mom of the new BT6 set. When you play it and you have 3 security or less left, then it only costs 2. So um, it's kind of useful to uh, play it for 2 and go into a Angel Moment to give something minus security effects. And when we're speaking about the Angel Woman, here it is. It's the one of the best yellow cards um, perfectly for this deck. It's a minus 60 attack 2 of your opponents when digivolving. And with the inheritable that you can play a level 3 or for free when attacking. Um, we also have a lot of level 6s, so we play the cheap Siren Mom. Yeah, I'm a fan of the cheap level 5s. The level 5 cost is perfect. So yeah, that's the only reason why it's here. And then we go to level 6. We have 3 Babamon, which is kind of the idea of this deck, of course. When it's die, you can play 2 level 3s from your hand for free. Or 1 Rosemon, but we don't play any Rosemon. I tested it and it just isn't good enough. Although it works in this idea of deck but it yeah it wasn't good enough so we have a lot of level trees which can be played for free um, the nice thing is you can swing with it um, your opponent kind has to deal with it because otherwise you yeah, just keep a level six on the field especially when there's an age woman underneath that can uh, summon a level three for free when they deal with it then yeah you can play the random mon to minus secure attack, you can play the pulse mon to give yourself memory and end your opponent's turn. It's so, uh, nice. Something with uh, kind of the same idea of course, the Kentaurus mon from the yeah, PT3. You can uh, stall a turn, simple as that. You can stall a turn with Digivolve, 5 your, of your opponent's Digimon gets uh, security attack minus 2. And also with an undeletion effect, so kind of hard for opponent to deal with it. When it's deleted, you can uh, give a Digimon of your opponent minus 11k, which is a lot, but mostly not good enough anymore for this meta. But you can take care of some things, of blockers, of or weaken things, so they don't swing to security anymore. And the last level six is the Sakuyamon. Um, a late entry, not in the first draft of the deck, but um, yeah, especially needed for the first effect. When our opponent Digimon comes out of the raising zone, he has minus 60 attack, minus 2. So I was testing against uh, the blue Gabumon deck. They tend to swing a lot, and everything on the field I could deal with with a minus 60 attack 1, and they in suspense so they don't have any swings, but you just could, yeah, build something big up and swing three or four times with uh, something under raising and this prevents that so that's why it's here the only reason the also your opponent secured digimon has a minus 3k but it's a bit of a hindrance in this deck but yeah we just play for the first effect then we have the options which is a force pile masquerade um just a simple good card was testing out uh, 8 cost which gives minus 15k but uh, I'm liking this pirate masquerade more in this deck because uh, 
yeah, when Balamon dies and you get to play a few level trees for free, then it becomes very handy. You also have to uh, blind erase, especially uh, yeah, only give the extra memory for the bushy or to go uh, go to minus two, three or less security too, so we have the extra injury woman effects. Yeah, cards just too good, so play it. And we have to take a because I'm a fan of memory tamers. So yeah, also this is a first Trasso deck, there will be probably some changes. I don't think four Petermon are needed, they're just nice, but they're better level fours of course. And as I said, I'm also testing with the babies, and I think I'll be needing a Chaos Monk Father on. But I don't know yet what to cut, but we'll see it later when I change something. And thanks for listening, I hope you have fun with this uh, crazy deck. Thanks. I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. Later rounds of the regionals will be uploaded later this week on this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing them. And I would also like to thank our sponsor, TCG Shop, for providing us the boxes and singles needed to participate in these tournaments. Be sure to check them out in the link in the description if you're interested in cheap Digimon boxes or singles. And I would love to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.